Hey everybody, it's Tim Michael with TimMichaelArts.com here with another how to draw tutorial. Now, we're going to be looking at something a little bit more interesting today. Um, if you watched my last tutorial video, you may have noticed that I was already drawing a very exaggerated face of myself. And that's because I made a funny face, which is exaggerated all in itself. It is a caricature of itself, pretty much actually. So, if you tried doing it on your own, you may have found a small problem. That there's nothing to exaggerate because you're not finding anything good enough that's worthy of exaggeration. Well, the thing is, is that there's stuff there, but you haven't trained yourself to find it yet. And I gave you a image of an already very exaggerated face that would, you know, show where that exaggeration is. So, what I'm going to do instead is, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick traceover that I did of this image. And then I'm going to draw the image from my brain by looking at the picture on another document. Now, the, the reason why I'm showing you this um, trace that I did is I did exactly what I told you guys, um, you know, to do. You trace over it and then you make your little enhancements that make the picture look more caricature. Now, this will hopefully deter you from continuing on this um, except for practice sake. I do not suggest at all that you guys use this technique that I'm teaching you um, to use for professional creation of caricatures. reason why is because it doesn't look nearly as good as it can look if you do it from your brain. And not only that, it's not really art to just trace over an image. I've tried it and I used to think I was really good at it and then I showed it to people and they go, well that's not art, that's just tracing. And I know you guys don't want to be hurt by that. You don't want to be hurt by people saying that to you. And it hurt me pretty hard when they told me that. And that's when I was just a young guy. And now I'm a professional artist and I have to agree with them. So let me show you here in this video how to turn this piece into a cool caricature um, without having to trace it. Let me show you the trace here. Let me go ahead and bring that up. So I looked for the different features that I could enhance and I drew this. And it looks pretty good. It looks like me, but there are discrep some discrepancies. And I want to show you how much better it can look in the drawing if you do it from your head. Okay? So what I'm going to do here now, and I'm going to teach you about all this in later videos, I just want to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sketching this out. I'm going to get a feel for the face here. So I'm going to go like this like so. What I'm doing here is I'm just drawing the lines that tell me which way the face is looking and then I'm gonna start getting into some more precision work. Let me make this a little bigger. And Actually I messed up already. Let me let you guys know um, it's best to start everything off on its own layer that way you have more to work with. Okay here we go. So we're gonna go here, hide that, now let's go ahead and make my alignment. Now, I'm going to draw the eyes really close together because I think that's going to look cool. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to draw the nose. Pretty much copy it the way I see it in my brain. And I'm not really looking at this from a cartoon aspect. This is more of just drawing what I'm seeing right now and doing it very loosely so you guys can see the broad spectrum of this. I would zoom in and do all this detail work and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to just yet. And I might not have the time to in this video. We're already at four minutes. Okay. Oops. Big bottom lip. My lip isn't big, but it can. We can have fun with it anyway. The top lip, though, sticks out like a sore thumb, so we'll make sure to get that in there. Low eyebrows overhanging the eyes, and then I'm gonna draw the hair in three parts. I'm gonna go for the first part like this. Second part's going to be over here. Like 
like so. And third part's gonna be on this side, like this. I'm gonna give him a smaller forehead, so I'll probably change that in a second. And then I'm going to extend the face out this way. Everything's gonna come down and out this direction. I think it'll add a little bit more excitement to the piece. Because everything kind of feels in this picture like it's pointing. Um, I can't really show you here. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Oops. Let me just make a new layer. Everything looks like it's kind of going in this direction. So I'm trying to do the same feature over here. This was back when I was about 15 pounds heavier. I've lost a lot of weight. And still losing, woo! -hoo! Went to the gym today, man, I beat myself up in that gym. Okay, and then we're gonna get some glasses in here. We're at six minutes, I'm doing okay, I guess. And we'll draw that in. And let's get this some of these lines in here from the smile, the left lines, and those slowly kind of connect towards this chin here where the, the beard, the goatee uh, stubble is. Okay. But because I'm doing it this way, I have the right to change it the way I want it to look. So I can make myself look skinnier, like I'm like I always do. I always make myself look skinnier. But it's my choice. It's my artwork. But who wouldn't make themselves skinnier, seriously? All right, great. See, and this is all from my head. Let me grab another brush here and we'll get some more details. And I would suggest, even though I know that um, some guys can have some real nice eyelashes and girls tell me that they like my eyelashes, I would not suggest drawing eyelashes on guys strongly. If you're gonna draw eyelashes, just give them a really heavy upper eyelid. That way they don't look girly. I do not like looking girly and a lot of my pictures make me look very girly. And I've had girls come up to me and ask me, do you wear mascara? And I'm like, no way! Nuh uh No, no, no! You know? It's just, no, not a chance. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and define this nose region a little bit. Get this bridge in here. There we go. Kind of like that. That'll connect back up that way on its own. And just get some of this. There we go. Something that really adds to doing pieces like this is to draw them on a gray background and then to use white to bring out the highlights. It looks really cool, very artistic, but it's all sketch interpretation. And that's what I and that's what I enjoy. I love doing the sketches. I like coming up with the concepts. I love concept art. Have you guys checked out some of the concept art from the movies that have been coming out lately? I love concept art. That's, that would be something fun to do. I would totally get into doing concept art. Sadly, we're about out of time. I have to make time for my intro video and stuff. I know you guys like all the cool music and stuff that I add in here. Oh, that reminds me. Um, if you guys like the audio that you're hearing on this, uh, on this video, then please hit the like button for me because this is my brand new microphone. This is called the Snowball and it's made by a company called Blue. 
and I love this microphone, and I bought it specifically for you guys and for the videos that I make. Um, but I also kind of wanted to work on some music and stuff. I used to produce some music, and I want to get back into it a little bit. And uh, so I wanted to get a good microphone so I could record my instruments and record my voice when I do feel like singing, which is rare. But um, I do have a couple songs with some lyrics in that I sing to. So if you guys like the um, if you guys like the tutorial audio quality of this, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that like button for me. And uh, it's a really, really good microphone. I love it. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to finish this piece completely. Because um, I'm at n 10 minutes. And I want to give myself at least 30 seconds to get the intro video in. So while I'm at it, let me go ahead and give you guys my little spiel that you know very well. If you guys like web comics, then you can check out my website, timmichaelarts.com, for web comics. And uh, those are updated weekly. And um, you can also uh, buy t-shirts there. You can check out um, some of my old videos, ancient history videos. Um, take a look at my tutorials from the past if you don't want to do them here on YouTube. Um, and you can buy a caricature. Um, there's, I got a whole bunch of different options on caricatures that you can purchase. Um, what else can you do on my website? You can do a ton of stuff. Just go check that out, timmichaelarts.com. And um, then also make sure you check out my secondary channel, that's Tim Michael Arts 2, where I have my vlog, my behind the scenes uh, videos, and sometimes it's just me ranting about nothing and everything, and uh, it can be fun. I try to make it as funny as possible, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crack up, you know. So check that out, that's the Tim Michael Arts 2, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Please keep those comments clean, though. Someone told me that I need to uh, brand that, so keep it clean. You know, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. And um, make sure that you uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. And uh, guys, I really want to get some more attention to my to my channel here. I would love us to get some more sub some more subscribers. So please pass these videos on to your friends if you enjoy them. And also. Um, if you would, I would appreciate it greatly if you would also um, favorite some of my videos. Because if you favorite them, supposedly that's what gets us higher up on YouTube, gets the better ranks. So if you wouldn't mind, if you like the videos, or even if you just want to lend me a helping hand, favorite the videos to your to your playlist or to a playlist or however that's supposed to work. I'm, I'm not sure of all the logistics behind it, but I would appreciate it very much. Because that's what gets more attention to the channel, that's what gets us more people, supposedly. and um, that would just be incredible, okay? Um, that I'm I'm shooting. Everyone shoots for ten thousand. I admit I'm shooting for ten thousand. But for right now, I would like to get a thousand uh, subscribers. That would be great. But uh, ten thousand is my ultimate goal. I want to take over the world. <laughs> anyway, it is thirteen minutes in, guys. I love you all very much. God bless you richly. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Leave a comment below of what you want to learn about how to draw. And here is my attempt at drawing myself. What do you think? Does that look pretty cool? Things are off. It obviously isn't me in certain ways and is me in others. But the idea is doing this from your head. It doesn't look like you sketched over it. And it's more fun. It's so much more fun than just sketching over it and getting something like this. I mean, look at the difference. What looks more appealing? Obviously the one on the right. So, guys, start drawing, have a good time, and I'll give you some more lessons on how you can do more of this in the future, okay? Like this video if you don't mind, comment and subscribe. Love you all, God bless, I'll see you in the next video.